We're in the middle of a national identity crisis. Faith, patriotism, and hard work have disappeared, only to be replaced by new secular religions like COVIDism, climatism, and gender ideology. We hunger to be part of something bigger than ourselves, yet we cannot even answer the question of what it means to be an American. Today, the woke left preys on that vacuum. They tell you that your race, your gender, and your sexual orientation govern who you are, what you can achieve, and what you're allowed to think. This is psychological slavery, and that has created a new culture of fear in our country that has completely replaced our culture of free speech in America. And that is why today I am announcing my run for President of the United States. This isn't just a political campaign. This is a cultural movement to create a new American dream for the next generation. To me, the American dream means you believe in merit, that you get ahead in this country, not on the color of your skin, but on the content of your character and your contributions. It means you believe the people who we elect to run the government are the ones who actually run the government, not a federal bureaucracy that grows like a national cancer that is now metastasizing to the private sector. It means that the best ideas win instead of getting censored. It means you don't have to choose between speaking your mind freely and putting food on the dinner table. It means you believe these ideals form the backbone of the greatest nation on earth that the rest of the world still looks up to as its example. Not the Soviet Union in the last century and not communist China in this one either. That is the new American dream. Ask yourself if you believe in these ideas. I think most of you do. I think most of you believe your neighbors do too, though you can't be sure because you don't feel free to talk about it anymore. You might disagree with each other about corporate tax rates or about whether ivermectin treats COVID, but those are details. We still agree on our nation's most fundamental principles. At least most of us do. Yet the goal of the ruling party in this country is to convince us that we are divided. Why? So they can accumulate more power for themselves. Well, you know what? I have a dream that we can be one people again. We have obsessed so much over our diversity and our differences that we forgot all the ways we're really just the same as Americans, bound together by a common set of ideals that brought together a divided, diverse, headstrong group of people 250 years ago. And I believe deep in my bones that those ideals still exist and I am running for president to revive them. E pluribus unum, from many, one. That is the dream that won the American Revolution. That is the dream that reunited us after the Civil War. That is the dream that won us two world wars and the Cold War. That is the dream that still gives hope to the free world today. And if we can revive that dream over fractious group identity, then nobody in the world, not a nation, not a corporation, not a virus is gonna defeat us. That is what American exceptionalism is all about. And that is what we will need to revive to save this great nation.